<laughs> Promoting selfish, typing in posts, and I was scrolling down on the page as soon as I saw Zuckerberg spilling it too. Looking at all these pictures, it had to stand up from my computer. I can't believe this. People are seriously using those mono fins. Well, I, I mean, they can't help it. They don't know swordfish exists. Well, you guys watching this obviously already do know. Let's help those who don't because that thing's terrible. I'm so happy we can help. It's an interesting feeling. It's about quarter to one in the morning, Monday. I was posting about swordfish yesterday and someone shared it on Facebook in a Russian group and everyone was just laughing at it like, haha, now the medals can come. And I just commented, yeah, let's go get the medals, guys. And everyone was laughing at me for talking about swordfish. Now, a guy commented on YouTube about all the wonders of these mono fins, how the glue quality matters, how much it matters, how the, the uh, structuring, the layering of the composite material and uh, why it has to be so stiff why it has to be so tight on your feet because otherwise you can't do good times whereas we come out with this super light comfortable mono fin that's got no glue in it and it's too foreign for people to understand and i was reading the comment and he's saying this is why it won't work this 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 listing all the reasons why it won't work and i'm like hmm i don't blame them i thank them i it's so hard to penetrate years and years of nonsense. Like they were comparing swordfish to other tries, other attempts at creating a better mono fin than this one. And they said that no one could. And they're right. Like all the others before swordfish were pretty bad, to be honest. Not to talk down on them, but just technically speaking, they weren't outperforming these. I don't even know what to call this, man. It's just atrocious. But <laughs> penetrating noise. Yeah, when you come out with something that's so revolutionary, it's not a revolution, a fin swimming revolution. We aren't talking about that. When it's so new and it it changes the game completely, then you've got a lot of noise to cut through. And that's our job. So we're going to change our tactic and get some record holders to beat their own times, to beat the world record, to build to beat the European record uh, with the swordfish and then then it will be pretty obvious which one's the best mono fin. Until then, all I can tell you is you can either purchase your swordfish now to get it in time and when it hits those records you'll be like, oh man, I've got it. Or wait and see what happens, the more swordfish beat the records and then order your swordfish and wait wait for it because a lot of people are gonna get them oh bless guys bless reading an article that was published about betsy and myself that we're working on industrial robots here and fins is basically with swordfish sorry for videoing the screen i just grabbed the camera and at the end look what i found yeah 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 well <laughs> <laughs> Poor fin manufacturers wasting their money on showing motor fin ads to us. Well, not for long, not for long. Good luck there, guys. No, I mean, seriously, you can start developing something else. Guys, Dana Shkonyo, world champion, world record holder. I believe so. Don't quote me on this. I'm not entirely sure. Was here today. Now, I'm sure that he was here today. I'm not sure about his accolades. Phew. You can see our sea. That's why we're developing swordfish here, because we're on the seashore. <laughs> So he was here today, uh, he manufactures bi fins, crawl fins, and he was asking us, can you try this? He was looking at swordfish, we were like, yeah, sure, man, he's like, and I'm taking this, and he went straight, straight off to swim in the lake. Tomorrow morning, we're going to the swimming pool to see uh, what his time is going to be, we're going to go there, so I made got the GoPro ready, we're in a video, get some underwater footage. Tomorrow, what I want to show you guys is this. This is a. Ah, oh, I've been waiting for this for so long and I can't remember the name of it in English. It's a. Shit, this is so funny. Look, go, go, going in the water. What is it called? Yeah. That's so funny that it doesn't come to me, man. I've worked with that stuff so much. I was just doing a video in Hungarian 
Now I can't remember the name. I'm gonna cut it here and tell you the name when I remember. Harmonic Drive, that's even the name of the company that manufactures it, Harmonic Drive. Take a look at this, this is an insane component. This is for our robot, our coding robot. As I mentioned in one of the previous videos, swordfishes are going to be coded, clear coded off the hydrographic patterns are applied. But we are obviously not going to do that by hand if we develop robots. So seriously, if you think we're just gonna go there and spray it ourselves. Nope, nope, no way, no way. So that's why we need the harmonic reducers to build our own robots from. Mm, stuff that goes down in this workshop, you've got no idea. You've got no idea. You guys will be looking back at these videos like, shit, he told us. He definitely did tell us. We just didn't listen. Well, time to listen.